last Saturday it was so freezing cold really really windy and it was snowing like crazy like it was a blizzard and so that happens to be the day that it was Brian Mulroney's funeral in Old Montreal and I had a plan to go there. Of course, I wasn't one of the dignitaries, mostly politicians. I think there was one hockey player, Wayne Gretzky. I went to a funeral there for Jean Bellevue a few years ago, maybe three years ago. And I went to another funeral for Guy Lafleur. It was at a different basilica, but I will link the video below because then you'll get an idea of what I mean when I say non-invitees. The last one I went to, which was at Notre Dame Basilica, was for Celine Dion's husband, René Angelil. And this is the program from that funeral. Yeah, so this was a nice souvenir. The song that Celine sang was uh, All the Way, a <laughs> real tearjerker, which is why it was great that in each pew for each guest there was a packet of tissues. Anyway, like I said, it was it was so brutally cold. I put on my warm hat, my warm scarf, my gloves, and I hopped on the bus. And when I got there, unfortunately, the only people that were being let in were the 1,500 or so invitees. Most of them arrived by bus. There was just one bus load after another. And I thought, okay, as long as I'm here, I might as well film a little bit because as the people were getting off the bus, I noticed that the way some of the ladies were dressed, you would think it was a, a nice fall day. A lot of them were not wearing boots. <laughs> as a matter of fact, they were wearing really high heels. And you'll see how bad the weather was. My fingers felt like they were falling off. And also notice at the end of the video, this little elderly lady She's walking along all by herself. She had nobody to hold her up in case she fell down. So I felt kind of sorry for her, but it really caught my eye also because she's wearing one of these, which is what my mom used to wear when she would have her hair done and she'd come out of the hair salon and it would be maybe misty or raining or something. And I don't know if they still sell these, but this is actually my mom's. I kept it as a little memento. So afterwards, I went to a coffee shop to get warmed up. I had a latte, sat there and watched more buses arriving. And then, just as I was exiting the coffee shop, along came these black SUVs. Don't ask me how, I know, but I'm quite sure that one of them held our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Now, wouldn't it have been nice if he just rolled down his window and waved? So here is the video. 